Hello everybody, this is BSCAT100 and welcome back to some more Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Turnabout Serenade. In the previous episode, we had begun this uh, episode and um, we had seen a little bit of the Gaviner's concert. Gaviner's being the group that Prosecutor Gavin belongs to, rock group, uh, and we met... Um, we met the special guest, her pianist, and her manager. We also ran into Emma. Unfortunately, the concert and one of the lives of the guests have come to a close. Mr. Latou has been murdered, and we have no idea what's happening right now. Let's find out. If you like, if you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment here if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you haven't already, and share with your friends so they can join in on this investigation. July 7th, backstage hallway. Goonies locked down. We took names and addresses before letting the crowd go. Good work, Darian. I'll let you know if I find any, out anything about the victim. Later. It's investigation time then, Jeff Furlan Detective. I don't need some rock and roll and prosecutor to tell me that. A request I must make to no one on the staff or otherwise any of this. I'm a gag order. No word gets out other than that Mr. Latou is dead. No word of the cause of death or of the murder. To no one. Wait, tell no one. Not even Lamore? Not even her. Let's keep everything under wraps. Oh, one other thing. I'll need your signatures on this for, for her. Your signature on this era forehead. Yours too, Frolin. On that? Huh. An investigation request? Uh, why just ask? To a civilian's standard procedure. That should be okay to sign, I think. Sign Prosecutor Gavin's investigation request. Alright, well, get started with the investigation. I'm on it already. And one tip for you. Huh? Me? Trying to get in the frolling detective's way. She's in a foul, foul mood today. Gee, I wonder why. We were all questioned as witnesses. And now none of us can go home. We'll investigate, alright. Our way. Somehow I don't see us getting back to that crime scene anytime soon. I still can't believe I was there when it happened. I have an experience I care to repeat anytime soon. It's no time for navel gazing. Let's correct the case. I worry about Trucy. She doesn't have a very loose idea of what it means to be an attorney. Of course, that's not surprising considering who her father is. Something the matter? No. Let's get cracking. I'm the only one. I'm the only one who was there. The only one who heard Mr. Latou's last words. This is this is how it written. First order of business is to find out what he meant by siren. Let's get this earpiece from before. What's that? It looks like some kind of future phone. Not a phone, a transceiver. Call a headset. What's a headset doing on the floor? Wait, do you think Mr. Two might have been wearing it? Like one of those bodyguards? Uh, I don't. I don't think he was wearing it when we first met. The LED on this thing is lit. It must be on. That's the blue badger, the police mascot. Does the blue badger have something to do with the band? Well, yeah. The blue badger is is the Gavinier's mascot too. Huh? Go figure. I hear this. I hear this thing. Uh, I heard. Ugh, sorry. I hear those things fly off the shelves. I'll take a look, closer look at one one day. Concert poster for the Guilty as Charged tour. Love that name, Guilty as Charged. Seems kind of negative to me. Well, why don't we do the opposite? Magician Trucy presents Innocent as Charged on tour. Kind of loses its impact, doesn't it? Looks like an instrument case. Big instrument case. There's a great magic trick you can do with one of these. Huh? What kind? The miraculous beautiful girl escapes the case illusion. So it's 
the girl who's miraculous enough to escape. So picky. Can I move anywhere? Oh, I can. Let's go to the stage first. The stage looks empty. I was hoping to get a chance to talk to Prosecutor Gavin. Ah oh, well, nothing to do but go to the crime scene, I guess. I guess. Okay, fine, we'll go to the crime scene. July 7th, Lamore's dressing room. Oh, it's you! I figured you'd come! You have to let us investigate the scene, please! You're attorneys now. Shouldn't you wait until you have a client? The two did ask me to ask the witness the siren. With his dying breath, no less. Doesn't that count? Glare at me all you want. You'll get no snacks from me. Please. They can pour, pour Lamar. Oh <sighs> well, I suppose. You did find the body with me. Great, let's get to it. Right. She's trying not to touch anything. She's letting us look, and she's not munching her snacks. This bodes well. There are clues here, I can feel it. Leave no hanger unhung, no spot unspotted. Are these bullet halls? Looks like it. There are two here on the wall. From the look of it, the victim was shot once in the shoulder. First shot must have missed. But there are two halls. Wouldn't that mean two misses? The murder weapon is a 45 caliber revolver. It's very powerful. I believe what we're seeing here is the mark left by the second bullet after it passed through his shoulder. Ouch. Sounds painful. No kidding. I wonder about this murder weapon. Oh, what a pretty brooch. Oh, Emma? You're not going to say, can I have it, please, are you? Oh. Look, you may be a cute little girl of 15, but that doesn't get you any special treatment with, with me. Oh. It's not healthy to envy the young Emma. It's not about envy. It's about tampering with evidence. Note to self, Emma lacks a sense of humor. Use caution. You should learn respect for your elders a little. Something seems so familiar about that brooch. Huh, another ladder. Actually, it's technically a stepladder. Well, hello, Miss Fancy Pants. F please forgive my lack of ladder discrimination. Less worried about the stepladder and more worried about why it's there. Why is the ladder there? Well, the climb, right? To reach something on the ceiling? I still say it's a step ladder. Thank you, Trucy. What's wrong, Apollo? Your mouth ca is catching flies. Uh, uh, nothing, it's nothing. Maybe that's how the killer escaped. That's what you were thinking, right? Uh. When we arrived on the scene, the killer had already fled. Here she must have had a way out. Not air vent is one possibility, but it's much too small. Hmm. Why does the killer worry about your size, Trucy? I didn't do it! Uh, I was cutting up the dance floor at the time, thank you. I know, I know, of course I didn't think you did it. I had to tell with you sometimes, Apollo. Hey, what, do I, what have I done? I don't know, what did you do? Uh, uh, Apollo! Look at that thing. It's huge. That that that's a TV. Uh yeah, it's a wide flat screen TV. I want one of those. We've been wanting for a long time on your salary, Junior. Wait till you're as famous as Mr. Wright was, then dream. I don't think Daddy was ever rich, even when he was in law. Great, just stop on my dreams, why don't you? <laughs> oh, believe me, I understand your pain, Apollo. Paula, can I eat some of those, please? Absolutely not. I know, I know. Still, I yearn. Look, you're not the only one eyeing that fruit here. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's eat. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it. Are you too crazy? Emma, you all people should know better. But she tempted me. She's a... She's a temptress. Please, grow up. Jeez. I'm dealing with two... 
Ugh, whatever. What's this poster? Let's see. This summer, illegal eagles. This summer, illegal eagles production of case closed. Looks like a poster for a different show. One I wouldn't mind seeing real soon. Well, nothing here. Are these? Uh, okay, I, w I, I was not anywhere near the bullet holes. Okay, yes, I know we have to get to the dead body. I'll do that last. What an amazing bouquet. I mean, it's giant. That's true, I approve. It'd be better if this flower was a bit more... Oh, the flower fell off. What happened? What happened to preserving the crime scene, Emma? It's fine, it's fine. I'll just put it back, see? I'm scientific. <laughs> Seeing these mirrors lined up like that makes me think I'm really in a dressing room. You are in a dressing room. Hmm. This must be makeup. I've never, s I've never heard of most of these brands. Maybe they're Borginian? 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 I still don't know how to pronounce it. I haven't got a clue, and I doubt those are. Look at all these presents. Lamar sure is popular. I wonder what's inside. We can't open them, can we? Probably not a good idea. You never know what you might find in one of those boxes. Bombs, razors, ransom notes. Could be anything. I'm never having a birthday party again. <laughs> Look, there's a little window over here. Maybe the killer escaped through that. Really big enough for me to get through my head through. Not to mention, it only opens a crack. What? I was just saying it's possible. Right, right, no harm in that. Except I'm pretty sure it's impossible. If we get to the room through it, though, could you know. Hint, hint, I guess? Seeing these mirrors. Okay, okay. I may have been near the bullet holes there. I was not near the mirrors. At all. Jeez. That's a body, isn't it? Sure is. The victim, no less. Let's take a closer look. Go ahead, Apollo. You first. Me? No, you should go first, Trucy. Really? Would you stop bickering and get over here? She's munching on snack ooze again. Hope she's not too annoyed. Really? Is that blood? Um, why don't you examine this one, Apollo? You know more about a red stuff than I do. Yep. Says who? I think it's strange about this blood, though. Oh, it looks like there's a message somewhere. Rah. I see an R. I see an A. I might see an S. Is that what it looks like? Pala, look at this hand. He's holding something. Hey, no touching. You can throw all the snacks at me you want. You can throw all the snacks at me you like, Emma. But sooner or later, you're going to run out of them. Ah, you raise a good point. A bit intrigued by the scene. Let's take a look. Uh, see there? He's holding something. What's this? A key ring? I think it might belong to the killer. It's only a possibility. What an unusual key ring. What unusual keys? This could be a vital clue. That is it. It's a murder weapon, isn't it? This revolver? That's right. A big 45 caliber revolver. Okay, why did it, why did I suddenly click out of the game? Wow. I wonder who brought this in here. I thought only police were allowed to have one of those. Why are you giving me that look? I didn't do it. I didn't. Listen, I was out in the hall eating snack ooze when it happened. I know I would know. Now what are your things you did, Emma? It's hard to tell with you sometimes, Paula. Hey, what have I done? 
Wait, if the killer brought a revolver, it must mean they had planned this from the start. That's right, right? Okay, what didn't I examine? Oh, the instrument case. Okay, come on! Bah! Sir Romain Latou, was it? He was Lamar's manager and interpreter, apparently. This was his first time in the country. So I'm guessing he didn't know many people here. Doesn't seem likely. Nor can I think of anyone with the motive to murder him. Except for one person, of course. One person? Who? Lamar? No one here might have had a motive, but she's from... What are you talking about? But, uh, hey, it was Emma's idea. Said nothing. Always with the snacks. He's a big man. Or was. I don't think I even... Uh, even I would win a fight with him. Which is why whoever would use a revolver... Uh, whoever it was used a revolver, I'm guessing. Sent a request to the Borginian Bur Bur Embassy for more info on him. Well, you and I know more about the crime than anyone. You do? That's true. It was us who found the body. What? Huh. I guess that's what I missed. What I missed for watching the concert. Hey, I wish I was. I wish I was watching the concert. Anything would be better than this. Well, we know the crime scene took place during the concert. The crime, not the crime scene. And we heard the shot and entered the room. Killer was already gone. What? But does that make that doesn't make sense? Came in when you heard the shot. No one was here. How did they leave the room? The window was a little too small, isn't it? Mystery of the disappearing killer. Yeah, we never saw this. To ensure the efficiency and secrecy of our investigation, the bearer is hereby ordered to speak to no one outside the investigation during the during any details of the case or concerning it. All right. Sorry, I can't comment on anything not scientifically relevant. A forensic scientist, after all. So style one at least. Uh, nope. Fuck you. Oh, you think you can, you can get away with just presenting me evidence? Nope, that's not happening. So this is the murder weapon. This revolver is incredibly heavy. It's been fired twice. You can sm still smell the gunpowder. That's odd. What's odd? Huh? Oh, nothing. Hey, no fair. You tell us. Just something about this revolver seems strange. Strange? There it is. What do you think about this revolver? Well, it's pretty big and heavy. That's right, it's a 45 caliber. That makes, that makes it one of the deadliest revolvers around. Even the police don't carry guns this big. Really? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. You don't need so much power to kill so at such close range. It's overkill. I'm not sure I see the problem. I mean, whenever I go out to eat curry, I order extra spicy just to be sure it's spicy. Of course, I can only have eat one or two bites. That? Uh, and that's not a problem? There's another thing about this gun that's so big. Puts a lot of strain on the shooter. Strain? The kickback, right? So if you were to fire the revolver, the recoil would probably dislocate your shoulder. Yeah. Ouch! It sounds like the shooter's a victim too. Yet the killer used his revolver quite well. I'm guessing whoever did it was used to shooting. Used to shooting a high caliber weapon? Huh. Well, that's about it. I think we've looked at just about everything there is. I guess you're right. I know how you're feeling. It's hard to know when to stop. But anything, anything more more involved has to wait until the squad gets here. Ah, I suppose. 
I'll go report the evidence. Sorry, but could you wait in here until I get back? Huh? Oh, actually, we have to... Great, thanks. She left. What do we do, Apollo? She told us to wait. Great. Oh, I'm supposed to investigate. Oh, well. I guess it can't be helped. Let's go. Huh? Go? Time's a wasting, Apollo. We had a lot of ground to cover. Well, that's true, but... On second thought, why not? I'm sure everything will be fine. Of course it will. Let's go. Ugh. God. The voice I gave Emma is putting a strain in my throat. July 7th, backstage hallway. Eh! Who's there? We didn't just imagine that, did we? He was wearing a silk hat. Friend of yours? Hardly. Whoever that was, he sure looks suspicious. Who was that mysterious man? July 7th, Governor's dressing room. Ah, looks like nobody's here. Scooter Gavin's probably busy with the case, too. No rest for the wicked. No rest for us, either, Apollo. Let's get racking. Rock, rock. July 7th, in the wings. What is, it, what is it with today? Problem after problem, a chung. You went kidding. The two leading members of the governor's Apollo. Javier on vocals and Darian on guitar. They're so cool. I'm hard time thinking of Clavier as nothing, anything but a prosecutor, honestly. What are they arguing about? Probably the case, I bet. My heart going strong, my guitar, God, my guitar gets busted. She must have been burnt to a crisp. Topple off, someone's dead. And then there was that performance that just now. What was that all about? Hey man, don't blame me. You were the one who missed the cue. Me miss the cue? I mean, I conceivably get the most important part of that song wrong. How? It was all that tinny plan of yours. Who you calling tinny? Sounds like they're having a spat. One of those differences in musical direction bands are always splitting up over. Hardly the time. Huh? What are you two doing here? Uh, um, hiya. We're just discussing the investigation, if you don't mind. Sorry, wait. You were what? Listen, you need to confirm that with the... You need to confirm that with the Republic of Borg Borginia, Detective Chris and... Right, anything else? What did you just call him? Detective? Uh, greetings. <laughs> Deary Crescent, Criminal Affairs, Division 3. Uh, hello? Criminal Affairs? Uh, Apollo, you really don't know anything about the governors, do you? It tells me that's about to be remedied. Next time! It's gonna be remedied next time! Uh, we're gonna end it off here. And in the next episode of Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney, Turnabout Serenade, we are going to find out about the Gaviners and probably more about the case. Stop crackling, please. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.